and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel for the, after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from least to greatest shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sins no more. The word of the Lord. Mercy on me, O God, according to your merciful love. According 
According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash me completely from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Create a clean heart in me, O God, a clean heart in me. O Dios, creen me un corazón puro, renueva me por dentro con espíritu firme, no me arrojes lejos de tu rostro, no me quites tu santo espíritu. Restore in me the joy of your salvation. Sustain in me a will and spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, that sinners may return to you. Lectura carta a los hebreros. Hermanos, durante su vida mortal, Cristo ofreció oraciones y súplicas con fuertes voces y lágrimas a aquel que pudiera librarlo de la muerte y fue escuchado por su piedad. A pesar de que era el hijo, aprendió a obedecer pareciendo y llegado a su perfección, se convirtió en la causa de la salvación eterna para todos los que lo obedecen. Palabra de Dios. serves me must follow me, says the Lord, and where I am, there also will my servant be. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip 
went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow after me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd heard it and said it was thunder. But others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, the voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out, and when I am lifted up from the earth, he will draw everyone to him myself. He said this, indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. In our first reading today, we hear about the covenant of the Lord and how it is important and important for us, important for us to use in our everyday life. But th this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. The seeing God as our Lord is important that as we draw closer to Easter, remember that he is there with us, that he is inviting us to draw deeper and deeper, closer and closer to him, that with his law written on our hearts, we are able to give him our everything. He is able to set us free, and that is why we take these next steps, we take these next steps to follow closer and closer to Christ. And as we are here today, let us remember that the Lord has come and is inviting us to a wonderful change. And he will even forgive their evil doings and remember their sin no more. And so, as we are here today, the Lord does forgive us the Lord draws us closer and closer to him. And as this is the point of Lent, to draw closer to the Lord, to change our hearts, to draw closer to him, it is good for us, as we are at the fifth week of Lent, to reflect how has this Lent been for us. Perhaps some of us, it has been good, helping us draw closer to the Lord, while others, maybe it's been a struggle. Whatever it is, let us use these last couple weeks to draw closer to the Lord at Calvary and remember him in the rising from the dead. And so, as we just heard from our gospel, unless a grain of, amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. In our own lives, it is good to remember this, that we are called to go deeper. And sometimes, as we go deeper, we're called to make change. And this change can feel like dying. And let us take this time, remember what it is the Lord has for us, and it will help us so that we can bear much fruit. And we don't necessarily know what the fruit is, but the Lord will help us on 
He will help us as he gives us many great and wonderful things. And as we draw deeper, closer towards Calvary and the resurrection of Jesus, let us remember that it is because of this, because of our Savior, that we are here today, because of him, that we celebrate what we do. And as we focus on bearing fruit, it's not so much important on focusing on that we will bear fruit, but how it is that we follow the Father, how it is that we die to self. And this will be exactly how we bear fruit in our lives, exactly how we bring change, how we allow Christ to be there. And we'll be surprised at what it is, the change that we affect, the fruit that we bear. But let us allow Christ to live in us and follow after him. And so let us experience the life, death, and resurrection of Christ so that we can draw closer to him and let us live in his children of the light, following him, staking our lives on this great and wonderful thing he has given us. And so let us give the Lord our everything so that we can die and bear the fruit that the Lord has in store for us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life the world to come. Amen. Dear friends, we are people called into a lasting covenant with God. Let us pray with grateful hearts for the whole world, for our neighbors, and for ourselves. That we, as members of God's covenanted people, may remember and be grateful for God's generous calling. In this time of new beginnings, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For compassion toward those who have broken relationships with us. In this time of new beginnings, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those places where flawed and broken relationships have led to cruelty, violence, or war. In this time of new beginnings, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the humility and courage to seek forgiveness from those we have injured or offended. 
In this time of new beginnings, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who will soon be baptized and made members of this covenant community, in this time of new beginnings, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those in need throughout the world, for the sick and dying among us, and for those who have died, including Manuela Martinez, in this time of new beginnings, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of compassion, you know our imperfection and constantly wipe out our offenses. You forgive us and call us your people. Hear our deepest concerns and help us to remember who we are. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Two, 
que nos has iluminado con las enseñanzas de la fe. Escucha, Señor, nuestra oración y purificanos por medio de este sacrificio por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, with your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast, with the joy of minds made pure, so that, more eagerly intent on prayer, and our works of charity, and by participating in the mysteries, by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created, rightly, gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Así pues, Padre, 
a celebrar ahora memoria de la pasión salvadora de tu Hijo, de su admirable resurrección y ascensión al cielo. Mientras esperamos su venida gloriosa, te ofrecemos en esta acción de gracias a sacrificio vivo y santo. Derriga tu mirada sobre la ofrenda de tu iglesia y reconoce en ella la víctima por cuya emulación quisiste llevarnos tu amistad para que, fortalecidos con el cuerpo y la sangre de tu Hijo y llenos de su Espíritu Santo, formemos en Cristo un solo cuerpo y un solo espíritu. Que Él nos transforme en ofrenda permanente para que gocemos de tu heredad junto con tus elegidos con María, la Virgen Madre de Dios, San José, su Esposo, los apóstoles y los mártires, San Andrés, San Francisco de Sales y todos los santos por cuya intercesión confiamos obtener siempre tu ayuda. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and David our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kindness to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On you stay, qui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay. Holy Spirit, come on, dear. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. On April 5, it's Easter, so it's time then to turn in your rice bowl money as a check or in bills in an envelope marked rice bowl. Please do not return the actual rice bowls with loose coins. Thanks for participating in helping refugees around the world. Our annual blood drive is this Thursday, March 26. Stop after Mass today to sign up to be a blood donor or to bring some baked goods. We also need a few more volunteers to work, including some strong guys, to unload and load the Red Cross truck. Next week, we invite children ages four and older to take a special part in our Palm Sunday procession during our 1030 and 1230 Masses. No sign-up is necessary. Just meet our volunteer in the gathering space next week as you come in. The little white books for Easter are available in the parish office. Cost is $1 each and are available in English and Spanish. Also, all remaining Sunday missiles are available in the parish office for half price at $2.50 each. Good afternoon. My name is Brian Piku. I'm the coordinator for evangelization and stewardship here at St. Francis de Sales. And two years ago, the people of St. Francis were asked to participate in a three-year capital campaign, which we've called Growing Our Faith. And through the bulletin, our staff have been keeping all of you apprised as to the progress of this campaign. The amount that's been pledged has been has surpassed $1,200,000. And the good news is that the amount that has been contributed to meet these pledges recently passed $960,000. I think that's worth an applause. <laughs> and as we complete the campaign, I have three messages for all of you. The first is, there's a good number of you that have already completed your pledges, and to all of you, thank you for your faithfulness. For the rest of us, me included, who are on track to fulfilling our pledges, thank you as well. Whether you're committed to giving monthly, quarterly, or annually, we ask that all of you continue who still have pledges to fulfill those. We need to finish strong, and the goal is before us, and our faithful journey is nearing an end. If you've joined the parish in the last two years, or if you were unable to participate when we launched Growing Our Faith, please consider joining the campaign now by stopping by the information desk after Mass or at the parish office this week. All who have participated in the campaign will be getting a letter from Father Charlie this week providing you some detail as to how the campaign funds are being, have been spent as well as the current state of your individual pledges. Thank you all for doing your part to help grow this dynamic, vibrant Catholic community of St. Francis de Sales. And after Mass, here in, the, in this sanctuary, there will be a short PowerPoint presentation. We'll just be projecting right over you if any of you want to stay and see some more of the specific details about the campaign. Thank you. And also this week, as we draw closer to Easter, we have many extra times available for confession. So please consult your bulletin, but they include Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And so we look to see you here. So please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people who long for the gift of your mercy, and grant that what, at your prompting they desire, they may receive by your generous gift, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel 
also born. Thanks, Like grains of wind.